You ready to go? <laughs> I don't want to go. This is perfect. But yeah. Yeah. Ready for the next adventure. Let's get on it. All right, y'all. We're going to go outside and do the light check. but they only have one hole so I guess if someone else pulls in they get to go next but it's a Saturday morning and we're the only ones here okay so there's a line at the dump station <laughs> I guess we got here at a good time all right, y'all, we got our dumping out of the way, and as soon as we pulled up, two more RVers pulled up, and I saw a truck camper that just circled, and they were like, nope. <laughs> yep, they said, nope, not waiting. Yeah. All right, well, we're on our way to Rollins. I don't know if y'all can see it, but look out the driver's side window on Matthew's side. Amazing. This is between Casper and Rawlings. We're about 36 yep. minutes. I know. 36 miles, 36 minutes to Rawlings. And FYI, make sure that y'all have enough fuel because there is nothing out here. No, there's not. We just passed one fuel station and it's the last one for over 40 miles and they don't have diesel. This is an amazing area, y'all. I could, I would love to drive this over and over and over again. Yeah. It's just spectacular. And there was one area we passed Devil's Gate that was past the Independence Rock is where all those rocks like split. It was like a gateway and we really wanted to see that but we have to get to the RV park and check they, in. Yeah, they won't let RVs go under their little arch thing so that's something else we'd like to see. Alright y'all, I'm going to give you a site tour here at Western Hills Campground, RV Park in Rollins, Wyoming. The sites are really tight. You get a picnic table. See, here's our neighbors. His slide's almost by our picnic table. And there's his water, his electric, and sewer. And then here's our slide. Here's our truck. Which the sites are pretty long, long wise, but the um, sites are not wide. And we had to move over because they have this divider right here. So this slide would open and we're parked more towards the back of the site. And there's our water. You get 50 amp and sewer, which is unfortunately right by their picnic table not necessarily the best design and we're parked a little farther back but look how wide these owls are so obviously I think if we let our awnings out it would probably touch this guy's RV all right y'all we're scoping out our next boondocking spot north of Rollins but you barely get AT&T here I think we got two down and barely one up and Verizon is non-existent. We do not have T-Mobile, so we can't check that. And if we had Starlink, open sky, no trees, so I'm assuming that would work very well. And your solar would work very well here too. 
on the way into this spot they had little prairie dogs crossing the street so i'm assuming there's a prairie dog village not far but it looks like something you would find in Arizona but this is Wyoming north of Rawlings and we really wish we could stay here they say it's BLM land we would call the BLM office to verify but we found the this place on iOverlander I think it was on free campsites even Campendium had it but we need cell coverage so we might scope out a couple more spots now you probably wouldn't want this spot if it was going to rain because it looks like it would get really muddy but just check the weather before you go to spots like this all right y'all these are our camping chairs and um matthew why don't you explain what so, happened we're out in this desert wasteland <laughs> to explain that our chairs broke this is sean's chair and it's that side oh here it is I was folding it up one day and all of a sudden this just broke. It can't be fixed and these are so cheap you just throw it away. We're not going to leave them out here, but we wanted to just demonstrate. And then on mine, the armrest doesn't hold up. So why in the world would I want a chair with no armrest? So, yeah, at least so this his... this is my chair. His is functional, mine is not. He broke both of them, y'all. He broke them both. Not intentionally. <laughs> so anyways, y'all, y'all, we got new chairs. They're kind of like retro style. We can't wait to show y'all what they look like. If we find a boondocking spot, we will pull them out. Because y'all, you can't boondock and not have chairs. This happened at Grouse Mountain. And Matthew's chair still worked and mine broke. Day one at Grouse Mountain, he was going to put it up because the wind was going to get like really strong. And we didn't want them blowing all over the place. And then no chairs. So we had no chairs to sit in to enjoy our two-week boondocking spot at Grouse <laughs> Mountain. All right, y'all. We are at Dugway. That's what it's called. It's a BLM land location. We are by Rollins, Wyoming. And it has four or five spots. Each spot has its own trash can, its own fire pit, fire uh, charcoal grill, and concrete picnic table. And then there's one pull through spot. You can see we're right by a river. I think that spot down there is the best one, just my opinion. This one is really good too. But if you want internet out here, I don't know about T-Mobile, but AT&T, nothing. Verizon, nothing. So if you want internet out here, maybe T-Mobile works just fine, but you need Starlink. It has great access. This is facing south. This is approximately north, so I don't think those cliffs are so high that they would obstruct your Starlink. You should be fine. Look at this though. I could definitely stay here for two weeks. There's Sean eating lunch. <laughs> and you got some moo-moos up in the distance. You probably can't see them, but they like to cross the road up there and go from one side of the road to the other. What an exciting life. Oh, and they have vault toilets. You see that skinny little smokestack over here somewhere? That's your vault toilet. second strikeout y'all yep we're near Rollins Wyoming looking for boondocking with internet and we found two great boondocking sites with great views but no internet y'all this is off of Bridger Pass Road but this is just south of Rollins Wyoming and uh, we're gonna definitely do more research of this area this road just keeps going for miles um, I'm assuming if it's a BLM road that means you can probably camp off this road but we're definitely going to do some research the only thing is AT&T and Verizon is not good here I don't know about T-Mobile but if you had Starlink open sky and look at the views they're amazing the views here are amazing the wind is also amazing but you are totally surrounded by just God's natural beauty I mean look at this you're surrounded by mountains and hills People like to use signs for target practice apparently, but this is just amazing.
Hey everybody, here's the situation. We have a washer and a dryer, and right now the washer is a splendid washer and it's giving us some kind of error code. I forgot what it is. E3F5, something like that. And according to Splendid, online at least, because they're closed, this only happens on the weekend, you know, it seems to be a, um, like the filter or pre-filter or something. No matter what we do, we turn different cycles, it just won't work. So I'm draining the filter so I can take it out and we'll see what happens. All right, a little bit anticlimactic. This drain, I opened it and just a trickle of water came up. I had to go like this several times till this corner just got covered in water and then I'd take it out, hand it to Sean and she would go drain it. And all I did was drain a little bit of water out of here and tighten it back really well. And now look, now it's working. We put it on a spin drain cycle it's happy. Everything is good. Y'all, when we think of all the reasons we'd rather be boondocking, this is definitely one of them. I mean, yeah, we travel down dirt roads, but we're just sitting here parked minding our own business, and they're kicking up a heck of a dust storm. Look at that. He's been doing this for an hour. Y'all, look. It's an abandoned RV park. It's kind of sad, but it's kind of neat to see. Ooh, I don't think that's the way you come in with an RV. I don't know, but look how neat this looks. You want to get out and take a look, see? Yeah. All right, y'all. Here it is. An old abandoned RV park. It's called RV Camp. That's it. RV so, Camp. <laughs> I see the electrical... Um, post, but do you see if evidence? If they, do you see evidence if they had sewer or water? Or was it just electric? I don't want to go in here because it's still private property. But let's go down here and see. They had lights on the pedestals. I don't see anything for water or sewer. And they have numbers on it. Like that was number 26 and it goes all the way back uh -huh. there. It's kind of sad that it was closed. They had a bunch of them. Yeah. Oh, this is massive. Nice location too. Boy, I hate to see that it went kerplunk. And we asked the lady at the RV park where we're staying. We're like, what happened? She has no idea. So I don't know how long this has been here or when it went away. But if y'all know this area familiar with this area leave us a comment and tell us some history about this y'all we love coming across old abandoned stuff especially like older rv parks this is our first one it's really neat all right y'all we are going to fuel up so we're going to the ta because we have a tsd card that gives us some savings at the fuel pump and they're hard to find here in wyoming but we're actually in a city rollins that has it but we save what maybe 30 cents or something it depends we could save more or less depending on the station and it's only for diesel and it allows you to go through the truck lanes in order to fill up where you can get usually def and diesel at the same time so um we have a link we can put below in this video where you click on the link and we have a referral code you just have to type in the code after you click on the link yep that'll help us and it'll help you yes and here we are at the TA, y'all, to get our discount with the TSD card. Alright, y'all, we are back at our RV. And we got some more stuff to do to tear down for tomorrow before we leave. I gotta finish the route. I mean, sometimes it's very simple and sometimes it's tedious. You have to, you know, check it with Google. Like right now, Garmin does not for the life of me like our next RV parks address. They're like, no, how about 198? I'm like, no, how about 302? And I type in 302 and they're like, I don't like lane, I like road. So they do road and it's on the opposite side. Google knows where it is, Garmin don't. So now I gotta manipulate the address and the Garmin to get us to turn the right way. <gasps> So we had to 
make a reservation for Western Hills Campground because we figured there was some boondocking in the area so we wanted to come to a campground for at least two nights so we can get our laundry done and when you call and book a reservation they go ahead and assign you a site mm -hmm. so we uh, check-in wasn't till 2 but she said you could get her early and get in your site but um, we stopped and you know had some fun at a rest area so we arrived way after two but as we were driving in there was like someone in our assigned spot and we're like uh -huh. okay maybe I'm just looking at the numbers wrong so we checked in and we and the girl told us what our number was and we're like yeah but I think someone's in there and she said well was it like a travel trailer and we're like yeah she's like he's not supposed to be in that site he's supposed to be in the next side over we the 30 amp side yeah we were supposed to be in number 11 which was the last 50 amp in that site and he was supposed mm -hmm. to take 12 and she said so he's just gonna have to move him we're like well what do we do and we get there and he's still there and she said we'll just call him no call her and she'd make a move so we got there and y'all he was already set up like unhooked had the leveling, his travel trailer had the leveling blocks all out, like his RVs all up on, you know, the five, stabilizers and stuff. Five or six of those Lego blocks, the sewer hoses out, and everything. And we needed to get in our spot because we needed to start doing laundry. And she said, Well, I have no more 50 amp. And then she said, So he's completely hooked up. And we're like, Yeah. And she said, Okay, I might have one more spot. <laughs> it's <I> can, magic. <laughs> and then I could put you in. So we were able to move and still get a 50 amp spot. So overall, I don't know, what do you think about Rollins? Rollins is a town that I would like to come back to. They have this old um, antique prison, y'all, mm -hmm. that you can tour, and that looks really neat to do. Um, right down the road is a town called Sinclair, which you've seen the Sinclair dinosaur gas stations everywhere. <laughs> and I'm sure they have a lot of amazing hiking. They've got BLM land in this area. I just yep. think you need Starlink because the cell coverage is not that good here. But then on the way, we passed something called, is it Devil's Gate? And, oh, and yeah. we did the Oregon trip. I mean, all kinds of stuff, y'all. We just can't wait to get back to this area, hopefully, when we have Starlink. Yeah. Yeah, I'd really love to come back to this area and explore more. There's not a lot in Rollins, but they have a Walmart. What else do you need? Have a Walmart and a McDonald's because we heard from an RV or that he said <laughs> as long as the town has McDonald's, he's good. Well, then you'll be good, buddy. <laughs>